Hey everybody, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop with, as a friend of mine, Joe would say, a video about audio. I, I wanted to talk, give my thoughts uh, on a subject that's been going around in the VC and on YouTube and in every corner of audio for a long, long time. CDs versus vinyl. Uh, and I want to make some things clear. This isn't a controversial video. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm only going to just throw out a couple of basic facts that are I think most everybody can agree with. It's important that you make up your own mind um, because it's your ears and it's your music and it's your life. And, and um, you know, far be it from me, it's a very subjective subject, I think. Um, so... Um, in that, I don't want it to be controversial. I've seen a few videos where, you know, a couple people drop, like, major F-bombs, pointing fingers at people. You, you're you idiots if you don't, like, it's not where I'm coming from. So, basically, this is, um, I think, more importantly, what's the difference between a CD and a piece of vinyl? Um, first of all, just basic information that is, you know, common information um, our hearing our ears are really really a cool instrument and you know God created that's my personal opinion but you know I don't think it could just have happened but um, a very complex piece of equipment and um, the range of hearing roughly 20 Hertz to 20,000 kilohertz and and our hearing falls within that. As you get older, here's some interesting facts too. As you get older, your hearing deteriorates. There's nothing you can really do about that. You know, kids have probably the best hearing. I read somewhere that your hearing actually starts to deteriorate after you're eight years old. I don't know how true that is, but um, I know that playing in bands, playing drums and stuff in bands, um, in the past certainly did a good job of deteriorating my hearing. My upper range is really crap. Um, so I don't even trust my hearing. I'll be honest with you. I know that sounds really strange, but um, when people come into my house and listen, I'm a big fan of equalization. Um, when people come into my house, sometimes I have to kind of curve that upper end down a little bit so it doesn't hurt their ears because I, I need it up so I can hear it. Uh, now, an interesting fact, um, you should consult your cat on, on how your audio sounds. How's that for a a mind-blowing. Um, cats have great hearing. They have better hearing than dogs. Their hearing goes from all the way up to like, uh, what was it, something like 70,000 kilohertz or something like that. Really, really up there, way beyond what we can hear. Um, I think it's important to take a few things into consideration. Uh, I, I like what a friend of mine said. First of all, let me throw this out. A good friend of mine who's been an audio engineer for 25, 30 years now, been one of my best friends forever since kindergarten. I asked him once, you know, I was watching videos, I said, hey, Raj, what sounds better, CDs or vinyl? I was looking for the scientific perspective, you know, whatever. And he said, they sound different. Well, yeah, but what sounds better? And he's like, well, I can give you my opinion on what I like better, but, and personally, he likes CDs better um, for a bunch of different reasons. Um, but that doesn't make CDs better. Just because Roger said so, you know. Um, but I think what makes a bigger difference is, A, again, like I said 10,000 times already in this video, it's what moves you, what, it, what sounds good to you. You don't have to be a, this incredible expert, you know, to, to, to recognize something that sounds good or sounds bad. But it's very subjective. It's kind of like I hate comparing pizza and audio, although I love both. Uh, very muchly, but what I like for pizza and the pizza place that I frequent, you may not like. You know, they may not make it to your desired taste. Um, so many things to weigh in. First of all, um, it's really an interesting fact. A lot of people are buying new vinyl of new recordings. Oh man, it sounds great. It sounds so much better. Um, and that's cool, but you know what? Most of that new stuff has been recorded digitally. It's DDA. You remember how years ago on back of CDs it would say AAD, analog, you know, originally recorded analog, uh, mastered analog, and then uh, reproduced digitally. Um, now a lot of stuff is being DDA, you know, digitally recorded, digitally mastered, and then 
thrown onto a piece of vinyl. It's, I think it's more important for me how it's mixed, you know. Um, and the other, there are a lot of other things that weigh into consideration. What are you using for equipment? What about the room that you're in? You know, um, some people may have a pair of uh, $200 um, Pioneer speakers. I've got a pair over there that I think sound pretty darn good. Um, you know, some people have to have a $10,000 setup, and that's good. I'm not knocking it. I wish I had a $10,000 setup. Maybe it does sound better. I don't know. Um, the room, you you know, one friend of mine bought a stereo once. This was a funny story. He bought a stereo, and he got it home. It sounded killer in that room where he bought it. And then when he got it home, it wasn't as, wasn't as good. It was still okay, but it wasn't as good. And he didn't take into consideration that that room was the reinforced to give you the optimal you know sound it was it was you know lots of carpeting and all this stuff you know so that you, the sound isn't colored at all you know you get what you get when he got it into his high high ceiling living room and you know a lot of bare walls a lot of open space and that sound just flew all over the place and it was like a, a pain just to get it to sound good you know it's, wrong. it's like well you know, it's, it proves even the room makes a difference. You know, same stereo, same adjustments as it was in that little room. It sounded great. Um, I think the most important thing to, re to know about, or the thing that makes things sound different, is in the case of a piece of vinyl, you know, when your turntable is playing this vinyl, it's literally playing it. Okay, it's like almost like an instrument. Your little stylus is going back and forth in that groove. And um, I mean, I remember old stereos years ago, or old an old record player I had when I was like five years old. You didn't even have to turn the volume up. You could put your ear next to the needle and hear that. It was not very good, of course. It was, you know, you know, probably playing at like five grams, and it was eating that vinyl away. But still, you know, you could hear it. There was no um, amplification there at all it was literally playing that vinyl very acoustically very um i'm trying to think of another word but very organically i guess i don't know um with a cd it's a bunch of digital information that a laser is interpreting your cd player is not playing the cd it's interpreting it and again is that a bad thing not necessarily you know, um, if it's if it's a well-produced CD, some people hear a lot of differences. They do sound different. I mean, vinyl has a warmer sound, has a more um, organic, I guess I hate that word, but sound because of how the sound is being, um, I believe personally, how the sound's being reproduced. You know, um, I just, in the end, you know, don't listen, you know, I'm not going to tell you which is better. Don't, like, listen to me and say, oh, Scott said, or somebody else on the Internet said CDs are better or vinyl is better. Um, you know, the best thing to do is to take a piece of vinyl and take a, a CD and a piece of vinyl, play them and decide, you know. And, and it's okay if you like CDs better, you know, then you like CDs better, you know. It's not the end of the world. I, my personal opinion, um... When it comes to a lot of uh, 70s and 60s rock and roll that I like listening to, I would rather listen to it on vinyl. But it's not just because of the aesthetic, the hearing part of it. It's the, it's the, it's the, the feel of it. I'm visually impaired. I love seeing the, 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 the size of the artwork. I, I, as bizarre as this sounds, there are records I've had since I was very little, and they are kind of scratched up and not in great shape. But they're, that's my own... They're worn because I wore them out and, and whenever I listen to them just the fact that they are a little worn kind of brings back memories of of when I first got that record or who gave it to me or something like that so it's more than just the sound for me with vinyl but I'll be honest with you with some some types of music and some CD re, you know remasterings because I'm not a big fan of like just because something's been remastered doesn't necessarily to me it's going to sound better you know, maybe it's louder, but it doesn't necessarily sound better. But in some cases, it, 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 to me, it does. And there's some music, some albums that I really love listening to on CD, you know. So I, I know I answered no questions. I hope I didn't cause any controversy. But I just wanted to weigh in on, on, on my thoughts on 
CDs, and again, this is not about MP3s. You know, your your you know your copy of of um, you know the Velvet Underground's first album that you downloaded off of Napster twelve years ago at, at uh, ninety six kilobytes. You know, yeah, that's going to sound like crap. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about a, 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 a commercially made CD that was recorded in the first place well, and a piece of vinyl that was manufactured commercially. So. Anyway, enough of that. I've been rambling on. I just had to throw my little, my little thoughts into that. And um, anyway, thank you for putting up with my silliness. Thank you, for, as always, for um, subscribing to the channel and all that goody, goody, good stuff. Okay? <coughs> and I'll hack and cough all over you. Anyway, until next time, everybody. Peace and love.